everyone and welcome to Thursday's Morning Message. We're going to see what comes through for today. Little Esty is joining us. No doubt Luna will start crying soon as well to be picked up. Um, so yeah, me and Esty are going to do your morning reading. So we're just going to see what comes through, aren't we? I want to start with a rider weight. So we're going to see what it is you need to know for today. Six of Cups flew out. You're revisiting something from the past or something from the past is visiting you. I think for a lot of you, um, you've been picking up on this. I'm shown like purple, which represents your third eye. So a lot of you have been picking up that something's coming back or someone's coming back. But definitely like a, a past situation here is ready to be revisited. Temperance, this is a card of reconciliation. So there is um, 100% something here coming back in. Come on then. And we've got little Luna as well. Okay, so something is definitely coming back in today. I feel, for some of you, you're revisiting this past situation just to bring like the peace and harmony back. So there was a situation here where I feel it led to a lot of disappointment. Um, I'm shown there was like rejection or like an offer didn't come through. So it might very well have been that the timing was off. Perhaps, you know, there needed to be some changes made before you could receive this offer. So there was this major disappointment in your past. Um, it could be that someone let you down quite heavily as well. But this is coming back round. It's coming back round so that you can make peace with a situation and perhaps give it a second shot. You know, with the Temperance card, I feel if this is balanced, then you might find that you've been patiently waiting and it's for a reason. It's because this time it's going to be right. Um, there's like a fresh start here. So there is going to be an opportunity for this like past situation to maybe be successful this time. Luna just doesn't sit still. I swear that dog has like ADHD or something. I don't even know if dogs can get that, but she's just all over the place all the time. Not like you. So we've got the hermit. So a lot of you have grown significantly since this last since this last experience. So whether you're dealing with a person or a, a job, like a situation here, you know, you've changed and transformed so much since um, the first time you experienced this. And now it's like, you're ready to actually see what this could be. For some of you, it's because of your growth that you're now attracting this opportunity. And this is something that you used to want. This is something that you know, I feel like you used to hold really close to your heart, but it's, I'm just showing like a blank canvas, but no, no materials to create. So it's like you didn't have the, the resources to, to make what you wanted um, previously. You know, maybe like you really wanted to make a relationship work with someone, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't working out. It just wasn't the right time for it or maybe you really wanted a job but there were still things to learn this is your evolution the eight of cups this is your evolution you've been soul searching finding yourself raising your vibrations and now you are attracting this past situation again um and i i really do feel like this time it might be something really good Two of Swords. You're unsure what to do here. I feel like, you know, you're going to be a little bit nervous maybe when this past situation comes back. Revisiting the past is always a little bit scary. But look, we've got the Hierophant. So there's been some significant changes, like I said a few times now. Um, but I can see your hesitation. I can see why you're a little bit nervous about this. I can also see that... Um, a lot of you, even though you're picking up on this intuitively, you're not confident that it, it's going to appear in the 3D. You know, some of you feel like this is going to remain hidden here with the moon card. 
um, you know, you're kind of questioning this path, you're questioning whether this is the right path, whether this is going to work out. You're going to have a choice about whether you commit to this or not. So when it comes back round, it is going to be up to you whether this is something that you want to pursue or give a chance to, because I can see that there's still a lot of fear. You're scared that maybe, maybe you've outgrown the situation. Maybe you feel like, am I still aligned with this? Like, is this still what I want to manifest? Is this still my intention? Something's going to be illuminated quite soon. And like I said, this is 100% the past coming back. This isn't a new situation. This is um, something that you've been healing from, something that you've been reflecting on and suddenly it comes back in here. It wants another chance, whether this is like a person or a situation, like I said. It wants another chance and you're going to be making a decision. Have I outgrown this? Is this still what I want? With this Ace of Swords, there is guaranteed to be a breakthrough here. So there's guaranteed to be quite a big change in the situation. Um, a huge transformation here. But you are just questioning whether this is like for your highest good. You know, you're unsure about whether this is the right thing for you to pursue. Let's see why. The Chariot. You're worried it's not going to be successful. You know, you're a little bit scared here that... It's just not going to see the success that you want it to see. But it's not going to move forward. You know, there's going to be more roadblocks. So that's what your biggest fear is. It's like, if I choose to pursue this and give this another chance, is it going to let me down again? Am I going to be disappointed and hurt? You know, I feel like that's why you're scared. And it's completely understandable because, you know, let, let's see what happened in the past. Let's Let's look at that a little bit. We'll see kind of, you know, why it didn't work out. Three of Cups. There's a third party block here. So in the past, it didn't work out because I feel there was like this third party block. So it could have been another person standing in the way. It could have been another situation affecting it, which really like, you know, stopped the wheels from, from going in motion. Um, but yeah, in the past, it's like you thought this was going to, be a success, that's what the Three of Cups is saying, it's like, you thought that it was going to work out, you thought it was going to be, you know, make you really happy, but then it fell apart and you got let down, so the fear here is that if you build your expectations up again, are you going to be hurt the same way you were before, and, you know, that's what's kind of stopping you, but, I mean, my only advice is that, you'll know deep down if this is something you want to give another chance to. I feel for a lot of you, the hard thing is going to be if this relates to a person. Sagittarius, Virgo, Cancer, Taurus and Pisces are all coming through here, but don't worry about the signs. But, you know, if this is relating to a person, you're worried that they're going to let you down again, which is so understandable because, you know, you have been hurt by them before. So you want to see evidence that this person has grown and evolved. Um... So let's see here for like what you should be looking out for. Let's take this one. Page of Pentacles. You're being guided to take it slow. This is about not rushing. So if this is something you want to give another chance to or another person you want to give another chance to, then take it slow, nurture it, let it grow. Um, don't try to rush like setting intentions here. Don't try to rush the process. You need to allow this to move at the speed um, which is comfortable for you. The Page of Pentacles is saying, if you can nurture this, if you can nurture this, you, you will see it grow. You know, it, it will start to like show its true colours and you'll be able to see kind of what kind of form that this is taking. But you have to, you know, be prepared for like a new beginning here. You have to be very open-minded. This is about, you know, this being like a fresh start, a completely new experience. You know, if, if you can let this, uh, if you can let this be a new experience rather than 
you know, expecting the past to repeat, then you might find the cycle has been broken, lessons have been learned, growth has taken place, and this could be very, very fruitful. That's a word that's coming to mind, fruitful. Five of Cups, it's all about perspective at this time. It is, it's all about how you're looking at the situation. If you continue to focus on the past, then the past will repeat. I always believe that, you know, like when, when people get back together, I always, you know, believe it only works if you can both let go of what happened. If you're trying to, you know, re repair the past or um, hold it together, then you will actually find that it just doesn't, it just doesn't work out the way that you want it to. It's disappointing again. You know, it, it kind of moves in a circle. Whereas if you can focus on a fresh start and, you know, just seeing what could happen if you explore this, then there's huge potential for, you know, for, for change to take place here and for there to be that breakthrough. But let's have a look. When is, when is this situation changing? When is the past coming back up? The star soon i do i feel like as soon as you release maybe some kind of expectations or something it's gonna it's gonna make its reappearance it will take you by surprise a little bit and being given november as well as an important month um but i just feel as soon as you've released and you've healed a little bit more um this is definitely coming um you know coming back up you need to like let go of any previous disappointment because as you do that, I feel that is the trigger which gets um gets this situation kind of moving. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's morning message with Luna and Esty. Um, sorry, but Luna was walking all over the table. She she cannot be told, can you? Esty will just sit here like all day, just happily in my arms having a cuddle but Luna's like I want to be all over the place I want to see all your different decks mum um so yeah I hope you enjoyed today's morning message let me know what resonated for you and if you do start to see the past popping up let me know in the comments as well because I'm excited to hear about your experiences and uh, what it is that is revisiting you so um hopefully nothing too haunting no ghosts of a past fingers crossed but do let me know um, I will see you back here tomorrow for a morning message as well as a love reading. So don't forget to check those out tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I will see you soon.